Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The United States has one of the most advanced navies in the world. However, every effort has been made to equip these vessels with early detection equipment. Enemies can still pose threats from land, sea, and air. Fortunately, the Navy has many tools at its disposal to defend its vessels, even when they're in the middle of the ocean. Close proximity threats are those that are near enough to the ship to pose any immediate danger. They range from fast attack boats and unmanned vehicles to aerial threats like warplanes and drones. For such circumstances, sailors are trained in the use of 50 caliber machine guns. These powerful rapid fire weapons can provide instant suppressive fire against small boats, low flying drones, and other nearby threats. They are especially useful against fast moving targets, as they can fire at rates as high as 120 rounds per minute. This is often enough to push threats away from the ship, if not destroy them outright. Some close-up threats call for more precise attacks, which is why Navy soldiers are also trained in the use of light arms and assault rifles. In the event that the ship is boarded or larger weapons cannot be used effectively, these crewmen can still defend their ship effectively. While at sea, crews will often turn portions of the ship's deck into firing ranges so that they can practice various attack and defense scenarios. Despite their size, small boats can pose a major threat to even the most sophisticated battleships. Marines and other Navy personnel are trained to take such threats seriously. They will use everything from machine guns to helicopters to explosives to keep fast attack boats from breaching the ship's perimeter. Another extremely valuable asset available to some Navy ships is the MK-38 Mod 3. The MK-38 can be fitted with a 25mm chain gun, capable of firing more than 200 rounds per minute. Most importantly, this state-of-the-art weapon system has been modified for remote operation, allowing for precision targeting in rough seas or against moving threats. The weapon has a maximum range of more than 16,000 yards, but is most effective against targets within 3,000 yards. For naval vessels, aerial attacks pose the greatest threat. This has proven true since the invention of the aircraft, but is even more critical thanks to powerful new anti-ship missiles and other aerial weapons. For this reason, many ships carry advanced aerial defense systems, including radar, missiles, 
and automated guns. One of the most critical of these is the Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS. This radar-guided Gatling gun system is capable of firing 20 millimeter rounds at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. This creates a dense wall of fire capable of disabling and destroying a wide range of threats. Codenamed Phalanx, the CIWS is fully automated, allowing it to provide rapid target detection and engagement. With its one-mile range, it's often capable of detecting and destroying a target before a human operator would have been able to identify the threat. Most importantly, it can be used against multiple targets, including aircraft, missiles, and drones. Most U.S. Navy warships are equipped with some form of vertical launch system, or VLS. These are weapon systems built into the deck of the vessel and are capable of firing surface-to-air missiles to intercept aircraft, drones, or even other missiles fired by the enemy. Most VLS designs are reloadable canisters or cells which eliminates the need for traditional deck-mounted launchers. When tied to a combat system like Aegis, these missiles can be launched against multiple targets at once with minimal human involvement. Another key aspect of shipboard defense is RAMS, which is short for rolling airframe missiles. These are more lightweight and far faster than their vertical launch counterparts, with models like the RIM-162 ESSM and RIM-166 being able to intercept their targets in a matter of seconds. Between their speed, small size, and low altitude, they are nearly impossible for enemies to detect before it's too late. Warships, like aircraft carriers, need to be prepared for 360-degree warfare. Indeed, since World War I, dozens of nations have begun using submarines to attack surface vessels from below. This is why naval vessels are equipped with powerful sonar systems that detect and track submarines or their weapons. In most cases, the best way to protect against submarine attacks is to use their own weapons of choice, torpedoes, against them. Torpedoes are essentially underwater missiles. They move through the water via a small onboard propulsion system. and use sonar as a means of guiding themselves to their target.
Most Navy torpedoes carry a high explosive warhead designed to detonate upon contact or proximity to the target. This allows them to do immense damage to boats above or below the waterline. Depending on the model, a torpedo can travel at anywhere from 30 to over 100 knots and boast a range of up to 50 miles. Lightweight models have a depth capability of around 2,000 feet. Though others, such as the Mark 48, can reach depths of 4,000 feet. Unlike submarines, surface vessels typically fire their torpedoes from above the water via side-mounted launchers. This allows for quick response to close-range threats, as well as more measured attacks. Once the ship's sonar or other detection systems locate and classify the submarine, the crew will select the appropriate torpedo and program the guidance system with the enemy sub's location. The torpedo is then ejected via compressed air or hydraulic pressure. Upon entering the water, it immediately homes in on the target, detonating upon contact or proximity. Many modern naval vessels are equipped with aircraft, such as planes, helicopters, and drones. In the case of aircraft carriers, a ship can become a floating air base capable of launching massive attacks on enemy forces. However, aircraft also expand a ship or fleet's defensive capabilities. Not only do they provide early threat detection, but they can often be used to neutralize those threats as well. A significant part of the U.S. Navy's aerial defense is the E-2D Advanced Hawkeye. An upgrade of previous Hawkeye models, the E-2D serves as the eyes in the sky for fleet operations. The plane is classified as an early warning and control aircraft. It uses a highly advanced rotating radar system to provide 360-degree coverage of the area, detecting targets as far as 300 miles away. This aids in providing early warnings about potential threats, thus ensuring friendly vessels have a tactical edge. The moment a potential threat is detected, an aircraft carrier could launch an E-2D, as well as several fighters. As the Hawkeye does not carry any weapons, it can serve as the Bloodhound to seek out the threat, while the fighter wing engages and, if necessary, neutralizes it. Since the 1990s, the Navy has had to contend with the fact that not all threats come in the form of missiles, torpedoes, and bombs. Electronic warfare is just as significant a threat, with the ability to disable entire fleets completely. To counter this threat, many vessels now carry the Boeing EA-18G Growler. Though it shares an airframe with the F-18 Super Hornet, it has the added ability to disrupt, disable, or deceive enemy communications, radar, and air defenses via a powerful electronic warfare suite. We can fulfill multiple roles, uh, but our primary mission is that uh, electronic surveillance to be able to uh, detect a uh, surface-to-air threat uh, and then be able to jam that threat uh, for blue aircraft from blue strikers. When it comes to protecting the fleet, fighter aircraft are the best possible option. 
This is why carriers are considered the heart of any major naval operation. Some of the largest carriers can house more than 75 aircraft and deploy fully armed squadrons in a matter of minutes. Once in the air, these F-35s, F-18s and Harriers can create a wall of defense that is as deadly as it is impenetrable. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.